Obviously, it's a big game tonight. Nighthawks are on the outside looking in for the playoffs. New York's in one of those final playoff spots. A win pops you guys in, drafts them out. What have you guys talked about as a team about the importance of getting a win at home tonight? Um, just like the last couple of weeks, it's playoff mentality. So we're going in, um, playing our game, um, not trying to overthink it or anything, but just coming out, making sure that we're we're going full out and playoff mentality. When you guys look at a team like New York, obviously you got to focus on on. Jeff Teat and hopefully slow him down. You're not going to shut him down completely, obviously. But who are some of the other guys on their offense that you really got to watch out for? Uh, they have a, a pretty dynamic offense. Obviously, Jeff's a great player. He's a great feeder. So they have a lot of off-ball guys that when they get the ball in their sticks, they can put the ball in the net. Um, so just making sure we're playing inside out, playing our defense, and um, yeah, trying to get them, trying to get them on the move. How's the defense been gelling the last couple weeks now that Dan Coates has been back in the lineup? Having Coates back is huge. Um, it just calms everybody down back there. He's just a steady presence. Um, and he brings the energy all the time. So having him back there is, is always nice. And going over to the transition game, the transition looked a lot more fluid last week in Halifax. Is there a difference in how you guys have been doing that over the last couple of weeks? Ah, just trying to get the ball to the floor. It would be, uh, be nice if I could put the ball in the net here and there. It's been brutal. But... Um, yeah, just trying to get the ball before, trying to get the ball to the offense and get it up. Well, and speaking of that, last week it seemed like you were hanging out in the offensive end a little bit more, setting some screens and really letting the offense flow through and you know trying to get in the middle and scrap a little bit. Was that by design or is it just, is that could just come basically on, on how the transition feels? Yeah, I don't know. I must have been feeling good. Must have had the energy last week. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I must have had my Wheaties. I don't know. Um, yeah, just felt like uh, felt like I could help out up there and if I can get in the way and let guys like Smitty and Fieldsy get the ball on that, then do my job. Do the coaches encourage encourage you to do that? Or is it, just, again, does it just come from just naturally, like how you feel the situation's going? Uh, it's kind of feeling up the situation. Um, hopefully, hopefully they don't mind it because I've been doing it a little bit. Um, if I'm not, if it doesn't gas me out, then I don't think they, they mind it too much, but I don't know. When you take a look at, at your, your defensive unit, you guys have, have had a really good season. Who are a guy or some of the guys that maybe doesn't get the press? Because obviously, when you look at the Nighthawks, people immediately talk about Connor Fields. They talk about Ryan Smith. But who are some of those guys defensively that you don't think get the appreciation that they they should be getting? I think we have a good a good solid group that we communicate really well. Guys like OC back there um, communicates really well. Brad's always bringing the energy. Um, I think Posty's done a good job um, when he's when he's stuck around. He's he's been doing a great job this year on face-offs but when he's back there he's been he's been doing good and then young guys like young guys like Kenson who's um kind of found a stride and he's, he's been playing really well and it's been it's been nice to see that growth in the season